Good day, Sony Fortunato from the tech firm. Today we will be covering packet comments with Wireshark. Now, just a quick clarification. This is not the uh, file comments. This is the packet comments. So the file, for, file comments are down here. Bottom left corner, little pencil, click. And you've got some room here where you can actually, let me just resize this, where you can type some notes here saying, capture from me to you that sort of thing and you can put all your notes in there that's not what we're doing so I've got a packet highlighted here number five right click you'll notice that there is a accelerator or shortcut key for the packet comment control alt C for comment so click and then there's a little box and I can just type this is not needed uh, remove from client something like that okay when you do that you get this really cool little packet comment section it says this is not needing boom for client so now the notes are inside the trace file you don't need to attach a word document a powerpoint or an email explaining packet 5 is this and packet 9 is that now here's the fun part so now you say you've got all these packet comments i'm just going to randomly click you know what, let's go back to one there is no comment here so the question is how do you know where the comments are when you first get the trace file great question so if we go to analyze expert information You'll see down here there's a section that says comment. And it says this is not needed removed from client. That's what we just added. So I'm going to click this little guy and you can see all the other packets that have this or a comment, not this comment, a comment. This is kind of important to understand. So these all have comments, not necessarily this. So I don't really like that type of layout. I'm going to uncheck group by summary. And now if I open up comment, you'll see that it gives me the frame numbers and now I can actually see the comments. So that's a good way of seeing what the comments are. That's one way, all right? Close. If I go to statistics and I go to capture file properties, back to where we were a moment ago, you'll notice right above the file comments, it says packet comments and there they all are. That's another way. You can also add the comments as a column if you would like but we don't have to go that far. So now here's the big thing. We're gonna go back to analyze, expert information. We're gonna see a list of all the comments here. And if I click on 44, for example, it'll jump to 44 and it'll say, nope, that. nope, that, not it, right? That's my good English. And you can see the comment in there. Now, we've got several comments in there. You may get to the point where you say, oh, you know what? That was a red herring. I wanna get rid of all those comments. Well, one way, to do that is obviously you can right click or control shift C oops up here and you can get rid of that comment control alt C and then you literally highlight this delete okay and it goes away that's that's one way to do that and now the the other way the more efficient newer way to do this I'm just gonna close this thing off for a second is if we go to um, edit and you go down to packet comment, right underneath says delete all packet comments. Click. Do you want to remove all your packet comments? Okay. Now if I go back to analyze expert information, you'll see that they're all gone. There you go. So, something new, something you might want to try, and I strongly encourage you to use the file and packet comments in your Wireshark trace files. Saves you a whole lot of brain cells trying to figure out what you did at a later time, and it saves you a lot of time trying to cross-train somebody else who may inherit or get the trace file from you. Have a good day. Bye for now.